What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Andre, and I'm coming at you with a new video. This video is about investing in yourself. Now, there's a lot of people that spend their money on a lot of different things. You know, you can value something, and some other person can value something completely different. And I want to talk about this and kind of split things down the middle a little bit. So, let's say food, clothes, um, shelter movies you know movie tickets vacation now most of those things you can split and say yeah um, i use this and reuse it or use and dispose in life pretty much everything will have an experience of some sort so food if you bought food at a grocery store there's probably a little bit less experience that you're buying in that food as opposed to going to a restaurant and buying food and that, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people like shopping at restaurants for food uh, it's the experience it's having someone else make it for you on the other side of the coin you have things like a movie like if you go purchase a movie ticket and end up seeing the movie that's pretty much all experience um, there's vacations obviously changing your surroundings and just immersing yourself in a different environment that's huge experience and a lot of people love vacations for that reason not just because it's a break off from their daily life and that experience but it's a whole different experience they have it planned um, they're all in that experience mindset and indulging in that experience so those are some clear-cut things that i kind of want to ingrain right now because to give you some backstory i was not a person that spent my money on things that were of quality experience let's say so I would spend money on video games a lot of times. I would spend money on pretty much just crappy food, things that tasted good and uh, all that unhealthy stuff. But in reality, I ended up circling back around at some point. And there's a lot of like down points in my life because our experience, whether it's one of comfort or discomfort, is something else that I kind of want to instill in your mind here because my experience and everything that I was trying to experience in life was based around comfort you know comfort in drinking that Mountain Dew that tastes amazing just living off of it six seven cans of Mountain Dew a day because it tastes good right and it ended up putting me in a pretty bad place and ultimately that indulgence translated to me not loving my body because I was just, my brain and my body were not aligned. They were not on the same team. Really what changed for me was being at a low point where, you know, my body was suffering. My brain was suffering at the same time, even though that was kind of what was taking control was those, you know, just hollow dopamine spikes of uh, reward for nothing, ultimately. And what really switched gears for me I have to say, um, you know, it was all baby steps working my way up to being more aligned with myself truly and appreciating my body as well as my mind because they are interconnected. As much as they may fight against each other, they are completely connected. You know, you can't, you can't dispute that in a lot of ways because at the end of the day, you have to be in harmony to be a truly self-actualized person is what I believe at least. What changed for me? I was putting forth the efforts in my life to where I wanted to get to a better place. And I knew that I had a lot of obstacles in my brain that were keeping me from progressing in life. Because I ended up getting, being a part of this uh, group coaching program. And it was group coaching because I couldn't afford a uh, solo coaching. And honestly, I don't think I would have gotten as much value if it was a solo one-on-one -on -one coaching. Because one thing that I realized within group coaching is... A lot of people are experiencing issues and they're having obstacles because they're at different points in their life. It's not just because we're different people, because a lot of us have more in common than you would think. And what I tried to internalize the most during group coaching was seeing all the challenges that my fellow, you know, coaching members were going through and embodying those and seeing if I was ready for those, especially when it would need to come up in my life, you know. And I was trying to embody the fact that one is everyone and we're all doing this together. 
Um, so that was one of the ways that I was getting the most value out of my group coaching. And, you know, I didn't have very much money. The group coaching was like a thousand bucks. And I just so happened to have just that in my savings. You know, a lot of it was my tax return and, you know, just those strides that I was making and making healthier choices, eating, you know, grocery shopping versus going out to eat all the time where you spend more money generally. And I was just so glad that I ended up putting forth that money to invest in myself. And that was probably the biggest investment I ever made in myself. And it was just life changing, really. It set me on a path where I was with a group of people that were like minded and we all were striving to be better people. And I'll never forget those guys. I'll never forget those times. I actually have those calls recorded and I review them every once in a while because there's so much gold in them. And just to review and recount the stories and see our like video calls, we used to, we would do video calls and just to see everyone's faces, how they were acting, their body language, and really just to see how we've grown, like to see where we came from. We all progressed so much if that was really what we were striving for. And most of us were. And um, anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know because I really had to put myself in that mindset of becoming a better me, literally, and investing in myself rather than on hollow dopamine spikes. You know, like I said, like Mountain Dew all the time, video games all the time. It's one thing to get 99 strength in RuneScape, but it's another thing to get 99 strength IRL. Am I right? <laughs> but the jokes aside, um, you know, there's one determination also, and that's working for someone else versus working for you. Who is getting the value? You know, I, I am grateful to have my job and everything, my day job, but it's not. I'm not working for me there, you know? Some, some of the work that I do now that I'm actually in a better position at, it is I'm getting value from that because I'm interacting with people. And, you know, it's one of my weak points, actually, is interacting with people. That's partly why I'm doing videos for you guys. And um, it's just to help me get better, get better progress, experience. But on top of that, um, when I was working, I would just get home. I would be so overwhelmed, so depressed. And I would realize that I didn't even want to live life. I was just living to get up the next day. Um, the first thing I would think about waking up was what food am I going to eat? What, you know, candy, what drink am I going to have? It was just a sad state of affairs. And, uh, you know, when you don't love yourself like that, then people aren't going to love you. And I had a lot of relationships end because of that. So, you know, there, that's a whole different thing. But think about your whole life and think about your day what are you planning in your day in your week in your weekend for you and stuff that's really good for you like good for your brain and for your body something that is more constructive rather than just comfortable because we don't grow from comfort it is important to rest it is important to recover but ultimately we don't grow if we're not testing ourselves in some way so I just wanted to talk about this with you guys. I hope this made sense. I hope you liked it. And uh, until later, we will talk soon. Peace.